Great to be back with you guys. Pastor Ray here with another daily devotion. If you haven't had a chance yet, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you ring the bell. You'll get notifications and daily devos coming right to you on YouTube. Our text for today is uh, Philippians chapter 2, verses 25 to 30. And we're really just finishing off this chapter together. And really for today, we're going to actually kind of see a lot of the history and understandings of what's happening here in the book of Philippians. So let's just kind of read it all together and we'll just go through it slowly. I have thought it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus. Now, Epaphroditus is an individual from the church of Philippi being sent to Paul. Paul is in prison here in Rome. He's on house arrest. And if you were part of our one of our daily devotions, we kind of even talked about how uh, being on house arrest back then actually meant that the prisoner had to pay to be in prison. Think about that. They were paying themselves. So the church in Philippi, one of the main reasons, not the main reasons, I guess, but one of the A reason that Paul so loved this church because they were so generous in their love, tangible and practical, that they would send him resources. And as they're sending Paul resources to help him while he's in prison, they also sent Epaphroditus to, with that gift, but also to minister to Paul's soul. So they were constantly, um, for the sake of the gospel, partnering together this church in Philippi and the Apostle Paul and his crew and his team and all the places that they went. So uh, here it says, I thought it necessary to send you Epaphroditus. So Epaphroditus has gone to Paul. Now Paul is going to send him back to the church. And that's what he's writing about to hear. My brother and fellow worker and fellow soldier, great terms for this man. But I want you to kind of stick on these two terms as well. And your messenger, that's the same word in the scriptures for apostle. And minister, that's another um, uh, way that Paul would describe officials in, in government roles. He would call them ministers or even angels that would minister uh, to people. So he's using these terms for Epaphroditus, and what a, what a tremendous man of God this individual was. And, and he says, to my need, for he has been longing for you all and has been distressed because you heard that he was ill. So this man, as he's going with Paul and ministering to him on behalf of the church of Philippi, has become extremely sick and has become extremely ill to the point of death. And that's exactly what he's going to say here in verse 27. Indeed, he was ill near to death, but God had mercy on him, and not only on him, but also on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. Paul is not wanting him, while he's being ministered to, to, to die in his time and presence because he so loved this church, and he didn't want his, his heart to break as a result of that. And, and let me just jump real quick, and you don't have to go there, but uh, it's the same book. It's 418, and I just want you to see this is what Epaphroditus was bringing to Paul. I received full payment and more. And I am well supplied, having received from Epaphroditus the gifts that you sent, a fragrant, offer, a fragrant offering, a sacrifice acceptable and pleasing to God. So just once again, going into the context of what is happening here at the end of chapter 2. Now, let's go to verse 28. I am the more eager to send him, therefore, that you may rejoice at seeing him again, and that I may be less anxious. So receive him in the Lord with all joy and honor such men. For he nearly died for the works of Christ, risking his life to complete what was lacking in your service to me. So one of the reasons Paul is saying this is because as they are sending Epaphroditus to minister to Paul, Paul is sending him back kind of early. And so I'm sure when he shows up, the church is going, well, you know, what happened? And, and in this letter that's coming back to them, um, they're going to see, hey, accept him back with joy. He has totally ministered to my need. Uh, but we're now sending him back to you so I will be less anxious and he can continue the work of the ministry at this beautiful place in the church of Philippi. So that's kind of what's happening. It's kind of more of a historical time in our devotion today. So what is something that we can look at the text today and apply to our lives and to be practical? One of the things that I was thinking about as I was in this context and just thinking of my own life and my own walk in Christ was going back to how the Apostle Paul identified Epaphroditus a fellow worker, a soldier, a messenger, a minister. Isn't those some great terms? And so I look at things like that and I go, okay, is this true of me in my walk and in my work inside of the local church? And that's what I want to challenge us all. Let's take some time after this video and, and really examine our hearts and see, are we living at, in such a way that we are confident in Christ that we are continuing to be fellow workers with one another, united, fellow soldiers for the sake of the gospel, 
We are messengers, sent people, called ones to give forth this phenomenal gospel. And are we ministering and ministering to one another, but not also to one another, but also to the needs of those who so desperately need this gospel as well. So there's your challenge for today. Can't wait till we meet again next time. God bless you guys.